Jamie Dornan has always recognized that Robert Pattinson sparkles like a vampire. The Belfast, Dorman, and The Batman, Pattinson, stars are longtime buds who first became friends when they initially moved to Hollywood. They also used to hang out in a fan group of other struggling actors that included the now famous Andrew Garfield, Charlie Cox, and Getty Redmayne. Earlier this month, however, Pattinson told Entertainment Tonight that, Although his pre-famed friend group of fellow Brits were all pretty close, he often felt a bit left out. They were all roommates, and I was kind of the last one invited, Pattinson told ET. I was invited as an afterthought. There'd be like one slice of pizza left and I'd be like, is there any for me? But Dorman, who is probably aware of his pal's penchant for lying, didn't let Pattinson get away with that soft story. Over the weekend, Access Hollywood asked the Fifty Shades of Grey star if Pattinson was an afterthought, and asked if it was true that he, Garfield, Fox and Redmayne would leave Pattinson at home because he was the youngest in the group and wasn't old enough to get in the clubs. We never left him at home. Why would you leave him at home? Dorman replied. He was the good looking one. He got us all in. He got us all the attention. He was too successful for us early on. Dorman did admit that Pattinson's overnight success in Twilight put a little wedge in their relationship, however. I think Kid Roberts always been like, he sort of had success earlier, so we were a bit like, does he really fit in with us? Dorman told DT on Monday. Because we were not working and he's working all the time. He did Twilight and was suddenly in a different stratosphere than us, and we've sort of, not caught up, but we all started working more consistently, but, yeah, Jesus, we've known each other a long time. Here's just hoping everyone involved is over any career-related jealousy because, spoiler alert, they've all done pretty well for themselves.